Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to create a very simple counter dApp. We're gonna go ahead and cover how to go ahead and create your very own smart contract. Then we're gonna build our very own dApp. One, it'll be able to interact with that smart contract and also pull information from our smart contract to display on our dApp. Now, if we look here, this is going to be a demo of what we are going to be creating. So you can see right here, I have my counter dApp. It shows me a counter. If I go ahead and increment the counter, it is going to go ahead and bring up a transaction for me to go ahead and confirm. All of this is stored within our smart contract on the blockchain. So anytime I wanna increment the counter, it is a transaction that I'm putting through to our contract. And once that transaction goes through, we can actually refresh the counter, go ahead and grab that information from our smart contract again, and go ahead and display it on our DAP. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it and get started. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna open up our terminal here. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is create our uh, counter smart contract. So I'm gonna create a smart contract with third web. I'm gonna do NPX third web create, and then I'm gonna do contract. We're gonna go ahead and name our uh, project here. I'm just gonna name it uh, my counter. Uh, we're gonna use hard hat for our framework. Uh, we'll name our contract my counter. Now with this, you can also choose from things like the ERC 721, ERC 20. But for this example of us building our counter smart contract, we're gonna start with a completely empty contract here. And we'll go ahead and let that install the necessary packages. All right, and once that is done, we'll just change directly to our counter here. And let's open that up in our code editor. Let me open that up. All right, so right here in our code editor, you can see we have contracts here and we have our contract that is right over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of everything that is inside. And we're gonna do a few things to go ahead and create our counting smart contract. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a variable that it's gonna be called, um, which is gonna be a number. Um, it is going to be a private here and we're gonna call this a counter and it's gonna equal, it's gonna start off at zero. So that's gonna be our counter there. Uh, next, we're gonna create a couple functions. Uh, the first function we're going to create is called get count, uh, which is going to get our counter. Actually, we'll just name it get counter. And this is going to be a public uh, function where anyone can go ahead and call it. Uh, we're gonna put the view and it is going to return um, our number and all it's gonna do is return the value of our counter right over here. Now our second function is we're gonna call it increment counter. And what that is going to do is it is just going to increment our whatever our counter is by one. And we're gonna make sure that that function is public as well. So you can see here, uh, this is our very simple smart contract for our counter dApp. Um, we're gonna just store a counter and we're gonna be able to get the get the value of the counter with our function here and increment it right over here. Now I'm gonna open up the terminal in my code editor here. And what I'm gonna do is mpx third web deploy to go ahead and deploy my smart contract here. All right, and it should open up a tab in your browser. If it does not, you can always just copy paste or go to this URL that it gives you right over here in your terminal. Uh, but going back to the tab here, it brings up an option for us to deploy. You can go ahead and deploy this to any blockchain or network here. The amazing thing is ThirdWeb does support any EVM compatible blockchain. Um, you can select some from the drop downs here, but if you do, don't do see it there, you can go to configure network and you have the option to go ahead and search your EVM blockchain or add your own custom EVM blockchain as well if you choose to do so. But for this example, we'll go ahead, we're just gonna choose go early ETH for our uh, network that we go ahead and deploy to. I'm gonna go ahead and hit deploy and I'm just gonna confirm this transaction right here. All right, and then we're just gonna sign here to make sure we can add it to our dashboard. All right, and once our smart contract is deployed, we can take a look on the left-hand side here under the Explorer, and we have our increment counter function here. Uh, and if we go to read, we can get our get counter function here, and you can see that what it returns to us is zero because that is what we set our counter to start at. 
Now, if we take a look down here at the code tab, you can see that it's gonna give us a little bit of some getting started code that we can go ahead and start using to build our very own counter dApp. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and start building our counter dApp. So I'm gonna go back to terminal here and I'm just going to uh, clear this out real quick. And then we're going to do uh, NPX. We're gonna do third web create. Uh, we're gonna do app. So NPX third web create app. And we're gonna go ahead and name our project. Uh, we'll just name this uh, my, count, my counter app. And we are gonna do EVM because this is on the Go Early testnet. I'm gonna select Next.js and TypeScript for this project. And we'll let those install really quick. Great, and then we'll go ahead and change to our My Counter app here, and we'll open that up in our code editor as well. Resize this. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is under our pages here, we're gonna go to our underscore app.tsx file, and we're gonna switch our active chain ID here to Gurly, just because that is the chain that we went ahead and deployed our smart contract to. Now under our index.tsx file here, we do have some templated code. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of everything within the main tags right over there. Now let's go ahead and set up our app so that it can go ahead and interact with our counter smart contract. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to store our uh, contract address for our smart contract. And I'm gonna get that, I'm just gonna come back up to our dashboard here and copy this contract address right here in the top left. Paste that right over here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is also create a variable for our contract. So I'm just gonna do contract here. And we're gonna use the use a contract hook by third web. And what we need to do is just pass the contract address and that is gonna allow us to go ahead and start interacting with the actual um, smart contract. Now, I'm also gonna um, create a state variable here that is gonna keep track of our actual counter. Um, so we're gonna do counter, and then I'm gonna do a set counter here, and that's gonna equal use state. And what we're gonna do is this is going to be um, a string or uh, undefined and then we'll just leave it there. I'm gonna go ahead and import use state. Next. And then down here, we're gonna go ahead and start creating our app. So I'm just gonna create a header here and I'm gonna call this a uh, counter dap. And in our counter dap, I'm just gonna make a H3 that's going to display what our counter is at. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two buttons. One button that is going to refresh and get the what the counter is at. And then the second button will go ahead and be our increment button that will increment our uh, count in our counter smart contract. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called the Web3 button, which is a UI component from third web. Uh, this first one we'll say is, uh, not get, we'll say uh, refresh counter. So it will go ahead and refresh the counter. Uh, we'll just give it a little break here and then we'll do another web three button and we're going to call this one uh, increment counter. Right. Now our web three buttons take uh, at least two things. Uh, they're going to need our contract address and the action that they're going to perform. So for this web three button here, we're going to do contract address and the contract address is just going to be the contract address that we stored up here, which I just noticed I spelt wrong, contract, contract. And within that contract address, we're going to do an action. Now for the refresh counter, we're going to create our own function here that is going to um, get the counter for us. Uh, we'll create that function in a moment. Uh, for our increment, we're gonna do the same thing, it is on uh, going to be calling it on our contract address and the action we're going to be calling is the increment counter function that we created on our smart contract. So if we do uh, our contract here, on our contract, we can go ahead and call a function and we just need to pass in the name of the function here. So the name of our function is increment counter. So if we go back to our dashboard here and we go under Explorer, we can look under our right. Here is increment counter. So we're gonna be calling this function right over here. 
So when we click on that increment counter button, that is what it's going to go ahead and run. And then for get counter, we're going to create our own little get counter function here. So uh, it's going to be a asynchronous function here called get counter. And in here, we're going to first check and make sure that our contract is uh, we can get our contract here. And if we can't, we'll just return out of the function. We're going to create a variable called counter that is going to call the get counter function, um, which is the other function that we created in our contract. And it is then going to go ahead and set our counter to counter. And then we'll make sure that uh, we make it a string so that when we go ahead over here, we'll go ahead and display counter. All right. And that does it for our counter dap. So if we go ahead, let's test this out. Let's open up our terminal here. And I'm just going to do a uh, yarn dev. I'm going to open up this in our local host here. And here you can see our counter dap. And one thing I forgot, let's go ahead. Let's run this. Uh, we're going to run this get counter once over here so we can at least display it when we first open our app. So you can see right here it's zero. Uh, we do have to connect our wallet for, uh, in order to interact with anything on the smart on our smart contract here. So I'm going to go ahead, connect a wallet. Now you can see we have our two buttons of refresh counter and increment counter. And then let's go ahead and increment counter here. Now this is a write function on our smart contract where we're going to be changing some information. So we are going to have to pay some gas here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit confirm put that transaction through. And then once that transaction finishes, we'll go ahead and refresh our counter. And hopefully that zero turns to a one and it incremented our count. All right. And the transaction finished. So we go ahead and hit refresh counter here. You can now see that our count is now one. And there you go. We went ahead and created our very own counter dApp. And you can also see how easy it is to build your very own Web3 applications using third web with just a few lines of code. You can go ahead and create your smart contracts and applications and have them interact with each other. Now, if you folks did enjoy this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos just like this. And if you haven't joined our discord already and joined the amazing community of builders just like yourself we'll go ahead and add that down in the description below if you have any questions or need any support feel free to drop it down in our discord channel and we'll be happy to help out but again i hope you folks enjoyed this video and found some value in it and until next time see ya